first time. You I cannot. Is he a model? Can we ship him? Can we ship him? Definitely, I will take him. Okay, how much does he weigh? Does he does he meet the does he meet the eleven kilos? Over. He's over. He's over. over. You over. Over. Oh over. You don't get to go. We are in LAX. We're about to go on a 15 hour plane ride to the Philippines. Longest plane ride this guy's ever been on. And he's in a bad mood, probably teething. Hopefully he sleeps for 15 hours. He's never slept for 15 hours before, so that probably won't happen either. We don't have to wake baby up to be able to get through here. He woke up. This isn't bad for an international 15 hour flight. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is a perfect place to let baby just play around. We're 11 hours into this flight, he's getting a little antsy. Brought some things to distract him. They last about two minutes and then he's bored. One of the biggest blessings on this trip is the fact that nobody has sat in front of me. So he can kind of get away with this. If there was a person there, we wouldn't let him do what he's doing. After 11 hours of being on a plane, you have to get creative with what you do. We made it, 13 and a half hours later. He does not want to sleep with us, he's fussing, he's still on US time. But he's a happy boy with Lola, so what are you gonna do? We're here in the Philippines, we were driving on our third hour of driving. Decided, hey, 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 hi. Decided that he was gonna just throw up all over me. So we had to give him a bath right on the side of the road. And then after that, we had to get me changed because I didn't have any other clothes to wear. It was either wear my mother-in-law's, uh... Kyle. I don't know what those were. Not pants, though. Or just go in my boxers. It was a little rough, but we made it through. These are my friends I've just met here. Got friends over here. Got friends everywhere. Everywhere they're friends. That is crazy. This is the most intense thing that you can do is go and talk and learn about their lives. It's awesome. White Tiger is my favorite. This is what's known as a shy plant. It's very, very shy. Sometimes you have to pass baby off and get a break. I've been doing that a lot, actually. Those are the things we're gonna go into to uh, feed the tigers. Are we getting locked in? If Jurassic Park taught me anything, oh it's that this God. is a really good idea. Also, it's a good idea to bring your small children with you. Holy crap! Legitimately out of the building. This is super awesome. Oh! 
Going fishing for crocodiles. Like that? My hands are shaking. That's really cool. Yeah, They're know. very strong. Oh, there's more down here and they didn't get any food. That's too bad. That was week one of our trip in the Philippines. The first week was a missions trip. I didn't get a lot of footage about different things just because we were there for a purpose and wanted to make sure that we were really focusing on that. A couple pieces of advice. If you're going out of the country to another place where you don't have car seats, it's kind of third world. If you have to hold baby in your lap while you're driving on a five hour drive, make sure you don't stuff him full of bread during that trip because he will throw up all over you. It was a giant mess. He threw up a grand total of, I think, three times, twice on me and once on my wife. It was crazy. The second two times, we kind of had it down to where we just cleaned it off in the car and kept on going. <laughs> that was interesting. One of the things I really had to get used to was kind of like relinquishing my control over a baby just because we were so involved and Justine, my wife, she actually got like strep throat on day one. So she was down for the count and I was super involved. We were doing a camp. I didn't really have the capacity to be doing that stuff and also be watching baby. So I had to kind of loosen some of that control that I usually have over Grayson and trust other people to watch him. And a huge, huge, huge thanks to all the people who did come together and help out watching over baby. But it was definitely something a little difficult for me to get used to. Yeah, a little nerve wracking. It was a good growth period for me. Like baby didn't care. He was running around having a good time, but it was actually like a very big, like monumental step from like a dad standpoint. So that was a good piece that I learned as well on the trip. So week one is done. Next week is week two. Week two is more of a rest and relaxation time. There's a place that we go to in the Philippines. It's called Caron. It's in Palawan. Hands down the most beautiful place on earth. Here is just a quick little sneak peek of what's coming. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you get notified. Go ahead and like us on Facebook. Follow a page on Instagram. Those things get updated periodically here and there throughout the week, little adventures that we do. So if you don't wanna miss out on that stuff, please feel free to follow. If you have questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to put those below. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.